think it it counters a lot of the ways that JDV interacts with the game very well. That frame one reflector, of course, being a huge part of it. It forces JDV to approach in a matchup where he doesn't necessarily want to sometimes. And he has to be respectful off stage because one thing that Pac-Man players can struggle with a lot just because of the inherent weaknesses of the character is, yes, he's got a great recovery, but he's got a great recovery. Like if here's your blast zone over here, he's got a great recovery from like here to the stage over here. But this area in the corner, he can really struggle. Yeah, yeah. The, the first initial part of like him recovering is just like something you have to exploit. And I think that, that's what Falco can do, right? That's yeah. like we're kind of leading into here. Now, and sure enough, we got the Falco. Yeah, you know, we talked about so many of the strengths from Falco earlier, and you know, the Reflector definitely, of course, the, the obvious one, right? But it's more about making JDV have to work for it, right? Not able to get scot free with a lot of the shenanigans he likes to do. Yeah, a hundred percent. Really interested to see how Ludo goes about this. All right, PS2 to start off here. Already got the apple on deck. Wow, just eating through everything and hitting JDV in the process. Great early pressure from Ludo. Only 12% done, but he's got this corner situation. Let's see what he can do. The reflector already coming out. That's going to be a staple of this matchup. Let's see how the rock, paper, scissors of that flows through this set. Wow, the parry into the catch. All right, I think Ludo has a, you know, it's a little bit of matchup knowledge in here. Definitely ready to, for, to handle what JDV is tossing out. <laughs> you know, it's so slow, but then you get hit by him. Yeah, like, you're like, I don't get hit by that, right? But it does have, like, deceptive oh, like, no. recovery. Good God, they catch the jump. And there's the cherry, but now you have to get back to stage as Falco. Luckily, the ledge strap wasn't too potent. didn't have anything set up going on, right? Yeah, JDB didn't have time to set up there. That is a big factor. We saw how quickly Ludo was able to get back to the stage. Going for the up air strings. JDB tries to nair out, but neither of them is able to connect. And right away, we see Ludo putting on that pressure, not letting him charge fruits. And there we go, up throw, up air. Yes, Gonna it is. do it. Wow, okay. And thanks to like the, the stage positioning, right, he was able to get that. That was such a beautiful sequence. And I'm loving the, the laser use, too, and the reflector use. It makes GDV have to like stop and like think about his uh, fruit uh, position, right? Yeah, that's the dream scenario for Falco there. If he can get that drag down onto the platform, up throw, up air kills shockingly early. Oh, whiffing the grab. That's... <laughs> Didn't get too much damage from it, but gotta be careful with those. JDV really struggling to get anything started. This is exactly what we were talking about. Ludo knows how to play that counter JDV, counter Pac-Man game, and he is executing flawlessly right now. Okay, we're gonna get the full charge here, the bell. I think we got, got the key online now, right? Yes, we do. All right, so we'll see if he's able to use it. Can't be too obvious with it. Obviously, Falco has the counter to it, but the back throw not quite taking it. This time we're getting the setup going on though. Had enough time to actually reflect it away. That's huge. See, that's that frame one reflector, because once you get it out, it's not like JDB can actually come in and punish you because he has to deal with the item that you're reflecting. Dash attack, maybe not what Ludo was looking for there. Hey, okay, back throw scenario. Choosing to charge up, no, no hydrant. You, you kind of have to make that choice because of how fast Ludo gets back to the stage, but able to snipe out the jump there. Yeah, we saw the mix-ups. Ludo was expecting JDB to throw the fruit on his getup. There was so much hitbox going around. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for getting hit. <laughs> yeah, sometimes just like, yeah. Yeah, it It be how it do, right? <laughs> it be how it do like it is. And right now, oh. it is JDV piling on the pressure. All right, now the, the fairs are doing mad work now. There's horizontal pressure coming out from JDV. Okay, Ludo's slowing it down a little bit. You can see him playing that slightly further away game. He's trying to do this middling spacing so that JDB can't get those fruits charged. Yeah, like we mentioned earlier, the, the laser is such a good option to stop any setup going for Pac-Man. And that whole interaction was made so weird by the water. Both of these players just trying to figure out what in the world is going to happen next. That's okay. not safe, my guy. Not against Falco. Unfortunately, he did get the weak hit of that down air so he wasn't able to get too much off of it, but it doesn't matter if you've got extensions like these. Great read with the grab there, and now JDB potentially on his last legs for this first game. I think Ludo's doing a great job of calling out the shield habit that JDB is kind of going for in like those like mid-range situations. Completely agree. The jab one from JDB, maybe trying to get a roll in. Doesn't get the read he's going for, but still forcing Ludo into an awkward spot, overextending a little bit. And now can JDB get out of the corner? No, he cannot. This is all looking Ludo right now. That down to found its mark. Two stocks on there, so this is looking pretty, pretty confident. I don't know what I'm saying. 
Yeah, absolutely agree. That was not a close game one. Ludo firmly in control throughout the whole game, only losing one stock. Had that reflector super well scouted out. Only the one time was JDB able to win that little 50-50 game. Really interested to see what the counter picks are here from JDB, what the strategy changes are going to be as well. Because how do you really counter pick against Falco in this matchup? I feel like it's very hard. I think it's more comes down to your like decision making, right? It's like you have to like do do this. You have to go camp a platform and get fruits, or you have to win neutral and then get some kind of like and, and pick a fruit up because you can't do it raw and neutral because Falco is just Aludo is just so quick about like stopping that game plan. But at the same time, Falco loves this stage. He can kill you so early off the side, things like down tilt to fair become basically a kill confirm anywhere near the ledge. A huge opportunity that opens up his toolkit. One thing, however, is he can't really kill off the top here. So maybe JDB will be able to take advantage of that with his DI and live a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll see how it kind of goes. I think Ludo is definitely on point to kill in any kind of fashion. But here comes the edge guard attempt. Are we getting back to stage? No, we are not. Oh, missing the trampoline by just pixels. Great spacing from JDB to not let him come back there. But that's another factor of this matchup. Like, does it matter if you have close blast zones if Falco's just going to die that way every time? Yeah, if JDB is able to find more gims like that, I think we're we'll being the money. Completely agree. Let's see what JDB can do to keep this lead. He got that first stock. Now he doesn't have to overcommit, and it's going to be on Ludo to make something happen. But there's that fair we were talking about. Yeah, not a trade definitely in your favor, but Ludo climbing back here. Only 43%, so... Uh, able to climb back up. You know, that's that's one Falco combo, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's one Falco combo. Maybe it's and two. That was two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll say one and a half. As, right? as we speak. It's one and a half. <laughs> right now, we are in FD mode, so that is going to significantly reduce both Ludo's ability to combo as well as his approach and escape options. Finally, those platforms back online for him. He really likes this setup. Having that corner platform gives him a lot of pressure opportunities with the down air like that, and now he is ready and looking for this kill. Oh, he was... <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh, great okay. tech on Say you overextend it a little bit here. Able to get back to stage in great fashion. Take another back air. He's going to go high. No, goes for the reflector there. Again, JDB not able to do much about it. I got to give credit to Ludo. And, like, in advantage and disadvantage, he's able to, like... Pull the trigger on the uh, reflector at a moment's notice. I see uh, Ludo looking for that up smash there. Not going to kill, but instead JDB is going to get him with the F tilt. Once again, putting himself ahead just slightly in this game. Atrocious DI from JDB there, but it didn't matter. All right, Ludo trying to keep his advantage here. And I'm liking the interaction. He can safely interact with the Hydra from so far away because of lasers. Yeah. However, he's going to need to get this stock off. It doesn't matter uh, what kind of interactions he can get from long range. It's what he can get in these CQC situations, and JDB is not letting him have them right now. Okay, just tap the shield once. Wait for an option. JDB trying to slow the pace down here. Knows that he has the lead, but just barely. Okay, let's see what Ludo can do with this chair, or strawberry, rather. Not much. Able to get himself out of a sticky situation there, but not much more. Meanwhile, these percents starting to rack up a little bit. Okay, yeah, we're just stalling, waiting for an option. Just in case Ludo wants to, like, overcommit off yeah, again, right? Just, just hanging out, you know. See if we can get him to be impatient. That side B. I can't believe JDV was ready for that. <laughs> yeah, he was looking for the side switch. Has the apple in hand, but I think JDV's like, all right, you can have that. <laughs> Okay, hopefully an edge guard opportunity, maybe to wait. Okay, stay safe with, oh, about to say, I thought we were gonna stay safe with the ledge trap scenario, but now we're kind of in a reversal situation. There's the back air, finally. So hard to find that just in raw neutral. Getting Ludo just barely back into this game, proving that it's not over. No, this is absolutely doable. As we're seeing right here, it only takes a few hits, as we're gonna see right now, we get the ladder. Does not get the reset. Good defensive choices from JDV. And now that Bell online, if he gets this hit, it will be game over. But he doesn't. Instead, Ludo able to get the opening. And we are, for all intents and purposes, this is an even game. No, no this is absolutely an even game. Let's see if we can find the, the kill confirm coming up here. We're looking, probably looking for a downer back here scenario or an up tilt scenario. Side B back air. Wow. And the DI mix up. 
the only reason that worked was because Ludo did something called an instant aerial phantasm where he did a quick jump before the side B, giving himself a couple extra frames right. of advantage so he can double jump up and get that back air. And we saw earlier too, he tried to attempt that like um, that situation earlier. Didn't quite pan out. He's like, all right, I'm going to try again. I know I'm going to be in that same scenario again. And this time he does find the mark and able to get the kill. That was so clutch from Ludo. Yeah, great stuff to Ludo. Crawling his way back into that game one combo at a time and managed to find those openings that are so hard to find against JDV. All right, a great start coming out from Ludo already, getting attacked on 35%. JDV drifting away from the ledge, just making sure he doesn't take any extra damage from that, right? We saw JDV trying to figure out a way to up B out of that combo, but it did not help him. Ludo just kept putting him in the blender. There's one thing that Ludo's good at is he's able to smell like these, these combo breaker scenarios. Okay, but this is where JDB wants to be. Charging those fruits, getting himself into a good position as he can here. But Ludo's just keeping the pressure on. He's just scaring him with the potential of that hydrant getting reflected. Ooh, <laughs> the immediate jump back on stage. Not something you see too much, especially when it's easy to snipe out, but... Maybe it's just a kind of the challenge JDB's reactions. It's kind of dangerous. Up throw goes for a fair there. Not really sure what Ludo was trying to do there, but whatever the case, it didn't work out as JDB gets himself back into this neutral situation. And there's the opening he needed, dying so early. I mean, JoJo said it best. You know, it's an important thing if your character can kill like around 90%, and that's what JDB is able to do with Pac Man. And not only that, if it's not like a super percent specific kill confirm, like you just know once you're at high percent, you always have that option on the table. Yeah, having a launching pad option is, is so important, I feel, in Smash Brothers. It's like, cool, I'm in this scenario again, do this, right? It's flow, Sometimes flow charts are good. Yeah, we love flow charts in the FTC. You ever seen like the Ken player flow charts? <laughs> oh, well, Wait, are, so we, are we speaking of wake up DP? <laughs> yeah. Somehow it always ends in DP. So, so right now it feels like Pac Man F Smash is the wake up DP. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> there we go. Ludo, fortunately, falling to his death there a little bit earlier than expected. 123 only on JDV. This is looking pretty convincing to get one on the board for JDV, I, I feel. Yeah, I agree. However, this is his counter pick. So if you're Ludo up 2 0. On your opponent's counter pick, this doesn't feel <gasps> that. Oh no! Don't Are do you it, to me? me! No way, bro! Excuse me? That was the dirtiest setup I've ever seen. What kind of back throw off the water into what? the down air? He was scheming. He was waiting for that. What kind of training pack nonsense was that, JDV? Explain yourself. It was a setup. <laughs> Holy! Was, you were already up three stocks to one. That I've was just uncalled for. I've never seen Pat kill that early. That was like, at the end mark, it was 38%. That was insane. And we know JDB has those. I can't even be like, oh, you know, it's just like one of those things. I've seen JDB do stuff like that on a regular basis. I'm still pog champing. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was incredible. And then that's, that's some like those gambits you pull out sometimes, right? You go for those Hail Marys yeah, you might as well. like the pause in games like that, right? So 2-1. Get interesting now. Yeah, he saw his opening. That's the key. JDV's not afraid to hold forward when the time demands it. And as we can see, the execution is absolutely there. Beautiful stuff from him, giving himself all the momentum in the world going into this game number four. However, Ludo's got his counterfeit. Okay, now every time I see that water, I'm gonna start getting scared. Yeah, already a great start for JDV here. Has the advantage. Doing well, he's led trapped as well. So, Ludo trying to find a zone breaking scenario here. Take one diamond away, but. Ooh, JDV took a long time on the ledge. And, you know, you're at low percent, so you have a lot more invincibility than you normally would, right? So. Mm -hmm. Ludo doing such a good job of finding grabs. I feel like that's been a key yeah. factor in this set. And not only that, he's converting those grabs into so much damage. I think we mentioned earlier that, like, yeah, Ludo is getting a handle on uh, JDV's shield habit. Especially, like, in the mid-range scenario where it's just like, all right, whenever I throw out a move, you immediately shield. Or when you do a move, you immediately shield afterwards. So 
getting a handle on those habits is so keen to punish your opponent. Yeah, because Falco's got crazy combos off of grab and off of just his regular neutral openers. As we saw earlier, yeah, he, he dashed back, dashed back in, and got the grab. It's like, all right, this is my win con. I have to get this sometimes. Almost not <gasps> snapping to ledge there. Not able to get the bear there. I think if he had gone for the short hop macro, he would have gotten it. Instead, going for the full hop, and JDV lives another day. But the question is how long as both of these characters on their last legs right now. Okay, once again, stopping the fruit charge. Yeah, get that so out. pivotal to make sure that JDV does not get any momentum going. He's only letting JDV get into like these first couple of fruits. I know they say the Apple Day keeps the doctor away right now, but it's keeping JDV away pretty well as well. I mean, does it keep the pilot away though? Because <laughs> this pilot is doing work right now, taking the lead as Ludo, finding that down tilt. It's one of those things he kind of leans on, right? If he can't find the conversion that he needs, he doesn't does raw with the down tilt. Yeah, that down tilt, such a threatening option that you can just forget about. Does not get the IDJ combo there. I think that might have been what Ludo was going for, but he's got the resets. Good spot dodge from JDB getting himself out of a scary situation. Yeah, JDB runs. I've been at that scenario again. I'm able to kind of call it out. Yeah, that's just great adaptation from JDV. It's so easy to muscle memory into your shield there. Everybody wants to shield in that situation with the aerial pressure against Falco, but you know the grab is coming. Okay, there we go. Once again, JDV going to the, the ledge. That basically prevents Falco from getting like any more extensions if possible. And now JDV struggling to land. Still stuck a little bit in the corner here. Finally getting back to stage and getting that fruit charge. Let's see if he can do anything with it. Uh, unfortunate scenario with the side B, pushing Ludo into disadvantage, and now it's looking pretty good on JDV's side if he can hold this. I'm getting Sonic flashbacks every time he goes for that up. I know, right? Such a scary situation for Falco to be in, and JDV has the timing on those two-frame options. Okay, once again, the Phantasm just pushing through. Just like, all right, if I got nothing else, I got that. Ooh, the what's dash it? back, F smash. Okay, we got the wake up DP still on call. Yeah, we're, we're kind of getting to those situations where JV is cleaning up his uh, close quarter game, right? Like in the scenarios where he's waiting for, you know, oh my oh, god, there we go, Ludo making callouts of his own. Just Rar Baron, problem solved. And all of a sudden, we've got, once again, essentially, this is an even game. <laughs> we've seen the scenario so many times, so, so all but the clutch. Who's going to clutch it out? That dash attack, so safe from Pac-Man. We saw Ludo trying to punish it. He had the perfect spacing, but still just the frame advantage. There's that IDJ that he was looking for earlier. Unfortunately, he misses the follow-up because his fastball timing wasn't quite right. Only 42% on JDB, but still 42% is nothing to sneeze at. Definitely isn't. All right, getting the Hydra out of the way is a big start here. Chasing the escape options, 99%. This is dead even here. If we can find a good up tilt scenario, wait, maybe waiting for a jump. That was a good tech roll away from Ludo as well. Really the only option that was perfectly safe against JDV. Falling up air. Oh, he's at the perfect window. This is the percent you don't want to be against Falco. Yes, there and it there is. there we go. Oh, it is not what enough. saved him. The trampoline was just barely there, and he wasn't high enough percent to get sent through. Oh, he uses the reflector at the perfect time. Reflecting the key, and Ludo does take it. What better time? What more fitting move to end the set. He began with the reflector. He ended with reflector. That frame one get off me option. He saved it for when he needed it most. Pulled the trigger and sends himself into grand finals. Ludo had the presence of mind to know. It's like, all right, I've seen not only me, but 